Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day. We're at a flat spot right now. You guys have seen this flat spot in other videos. I just want to get another sesh. I want to get a flat sesh. I really want to learn something new. It's been a little bit since I've done something like with no name or just just a new trick in general. I mean, I've done a bunch of new combos, but I want to see if I can get a new name. I'm not sure. I don't really have any ideas at all right now. I definitely have to tie out my scooter. Yesterday I was trying um, a trick that was on Instagram. You guys saw two days ago on Instagram. It was like a night clip that was here. I was trying to do that for three hours and trying to learn how to pump it. But I got the clip and I was able to combo it out too, like with like a 180 whip. But I need to tighten up my scooter because it was getting thrown around crazy. So I'm gonna tighten my scooter up, got my music and everything. I'm gonna bring you guys with me and get a flat sesh and really see if I can come up with something I really, like just just being by myself with some music is the best way because uh, you can't really force tricks you can't like go and look for tricks you can't really like all right I'm gonna do this today you just gotta ride and like just, like you know what happens sometimes I, I straight up like put my scooter in front of me like this and I just look at it for like 10 minutes I look at my scooter for like 10 minutes I don't even ride it and then something happens like I get an idea I'm like oh this, this might work so I'm gonna try to do that. But obviously, I'm not gonna film me looking at my scooter for 10 minutes and show you guys because why would you wanna watch that? But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just warm up. I can bring you guys for the warm up. You guys will see all the, just the basic stuff just to get things going. And then I'll pause the camera, stare at my scooter for 10 minutes and see what I can come up with. It'd be sick to do something new today. Let's do it. tightened up. I moved to the basketball court for about five minutes because some dude wants to walk his French Bulldog in there. He says it's like the French Bulldog goes crazy with scooters. That's alright, I get the warm up here. Same thing, it's just flat. So over there, there's nobody over there so it kind of is like a little more peaceful and quiet and then not really in the way because no one's playing hockey seven in the morning. But let's get a warm up. Ideas really. I'm telling you, like, the only way to get ideas and inventing tricks, you have to just stop what you're doing, put the music on, and just. I literally just look at my scooter. I stare at my scooter. Maybe I like mess around, not mess, mess around, but like stand on the peg a certain way just to see if it's possible to hold something or. Meditation. Scooter meditation. That's basically what I do, and it actually works. It almost. It almost always works, especially if I have new music. And it's always weird though, because every time I have a new song on my iPod, it's like, it, it always works with that. Right now I actually don't have any new music. The last time I put music was about a week ago. So let's just see. I'll come back in a few minutes and see what I can come up with. All right. So basically what I thought of just now is a backpack trick. Let me get a little closer. It's a backpack trick that I, I stood on and I was able to, to hold it. And I've I've done kind of the trick, but on the break, I have, let me, I'll just show you, let me just show you. So basically what I've done before is I've stood on the brake and I have my hand like this. 
and I climbed over like that. I can't even get it. I climbed over and I was on the brake and I just like let go for a sec and then came back like that. But the problem is that when you're on the brake, anytime you touch the brake, you're slowing yourself down, you're stopping yourself from rolling, you're limiting yourself. So anything brakeless or on the pegs, it's always easier, in my opinion. I know people say like, doing using the brake is harder. I know, using the brake is easier, but in my opinion, using the brake is actually harder because you, you stop rolling. You stop rolling using the brake. So I've done that trick in like a tire tap position, which a lot of my tricks usually start with tire tap because if I'm doing a tire tap spin, it's because I don't know how to get on the pegs yet from that position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to maybe do that and then try to jump on the back pegs and hold it with like the scooter in between my legs and, and try to land from there. I've never seen anybody do this before. Uh, I've seen Terry Adams, the BMX rider, he's done it like on the pedals and pedaled and he held his front pegs. But from the back pegs, a bike can't do it because the bike's too long. So you won't have any, any room between your legs. I'm gonna try it. And there's like a slight downhill right there, which makes it perfect because since I'm starting from a tire tap, I have no speed. I had to like thrust and pump forward. So I'm just gonna change the lens. That way you guys can see, because I'm not sure how far I'll be able to go before I feel comfortable to get out. Change the lens. I'm gonna go over there. It's a little downhill, so it's gonna help. Let's see if this works. All right, let's switch the lens. Oh, that's better. So I'm gonna start over here, try to get in. A little downhill should help. And let's count the tries. Here we go. The camera in the right spot. I feel like a little bit more this way. Right, so you guys see what I'm doing, right? You guys see that I'm going from here, like that, and then hop on the pegs like this. And somehow get out. It'll work, I hope. Now you guys know, every single time I'm trying a trick, sometimes I don't even lock in. I'll go an hour and won't even lock in. And then when I finally lock in, you get all nervous and crazy because you, you locked in and you're like, oh man, now I have to do it. See like, when you're holding, you get all nervous and the message up because you need to relax. Let's keep going. I don't know how I'm supposed to get speed. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get speed. Like zero idea. I went from complete stop tire tap and jump on the pegs. And I'm not rolling anywhere. I need like more of a downhill, but then it's not flat. It's not flat down if you can't get speed. It might be crazy, but I feel like the middle of the basketball court is more slanted. So I'm gonna switch this camera position and I'm gonna try it right here because I, I almost see it. It's like a little, little mellow downhill that is gonna make this trick. All right. I haven't really got all frustrated yet, but I'm definitely starting to. When you don't even get close, you don't even lock in. I locked in like once, but then when you lock in once you panic, and you mess up. Just keep going. I'm sorry if this isn't amusing, but this is what happens every single time I have to invent a trick. Inventing tricks, not even always. Sometimes it doesn't work. Most of the time it doesn't even work. So if it doesn't work, I'm not even gonna land this trick for you. That sucks, because I wanna do this for you guys. I wanna do it for myself. Like, mainly I wanna be able to do this and land a new trick. That's really what I'm trying to do. But I'm not even getting close. I got close once, and then just Keep going. This is starting to get really annoying. I'm like holding back because I'm filming and you guys are hearing, but I'm holding it all in. So frustrating. Oh, 
that's exactly what I just told you. I told you before, when you finally get in, you lock in. You get super nervous as you're holding it. You completely forget what you have to do to land it. And that's a perfect example of what happens, and it always happens forever in my job. Ugh, let's keep going. I think I'm like a hundred tries in. Nah, more than that. Because I'm filming, I'm keeping it so quiet. Usually I'm freaking out. I mean, I am freaking out, but I'm like... But I'm telling you right now, this is the hardest. This is the hardest thing like, to do, period. The other day I did a flare manual and the flare mega spin. took 20 minutes of trying. This, it's starting to rain. I'm about a hundred tries in and we're not even close. Every time, every time I do this, I'm standing on the back pegs, my front pegs want to destroy my shins and ankles. I stand on the front pegs, the other way around too. And it's raining, which makes it so hard because my peg gets so slippery because they're plastic. You know, I try to lock in and I keep sliding off. So now it's even harder. It's great. Oh my god! Oh, no idea how I just got out of that. I was supposed to fall and I, my back wheel slid too as it was coming out because the floor is wet. No idea how I just did that. Freaking out. I can't talk yet because I'm like trying to present myself to the camera but I have no idea. Oh man, it just worked. It worked. I don't know what it's called. I have no idea what it's called. I've seen other stuff. My BMX riders, but on the pedals, no one's on the pegs. It's another world's first. Another world's first, period. Like, no, not even like. I sometimes I'll do world's first, but like on a scooter because it's been done on the bike already. But this is like a full on, like, no one's done it. It's so hard. You like need the downhill. I don't know how you're supposed to do it without downhill unless you know how to pump, but it's a whole nother thing. That's flat at six. <laughs> but that's what it takes. Inventing tricks literally is like my favorite thing to do but it's the worst thing it's like my number one homework every single day not even every single day like I'll, I'll, I wish I could do it every single day it's almost like once a week at most at best it'd be once a week if I can sit there and think of how to roll on my scooter differently than someone else has already and this is an example I don't know what it's called yet if you guys want to help me out with a name it'd be sick nothing corny though like something that we can transfer over to some BMX guys if they ever do it they would get like a short frame that was it uh, so it's from the pegs no, it's from the brake onto the pegs, the bar is between your legs, and then you let go so it's no handed, and then you do the same thing back, and you get back on the brake to have bar around, and then, then you got it. Inventing tricks is my favorite thing to do. I'll tell you guys right now, but it's the hardest thing to do. I, I've, I ride park, I ride street, flat is the, it's the hardest one, I'll tell you. I used to ride park like really hard a long time ago. Street, I, I still love street. Flat is the hardest. Flat is the hardest because you don't have anything helping you. You don't have a spot helping you. You don't have a ramp helping you. And you only have your scooter. There's two wheels, four pegs, bars, deck, and the ground. So it's like, you think there's a limit? You think there's like, oh, what can you possibly do on flat? Like, what else can you do? But like, that's the question. What else can you do? And it's endless. Everything's endless. Park, street, everything. But the problem with flat is that it really takes like, like a lot of thought before you think of a trick. I watch a lot of BMX videos and I get ideas from them, but I try to give it like the scooter steez, like transfer it over because some things they can't do, like obviously you're not going to be able to triple up on the floor on a bike unless you're like on some crazy steroid drug and you have no neck, but even still like we can use that sort of advantage, like be able to 
do stuff and like have other sports motivate us to do things, but give us our own steez. That's it. Pretty hyped. I'm, I'm actually really excited that that it took long, but not that long. Not like where like I killed all the batteries in that my memory card and we're still filming, we're still rolling on a single clip. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys understand what I do, I like what I want to do. I want to be able to do this constantly. I want to be able to pave a road for Flatland riders. That way they can see like, you know, like when you when you see a trick, you understand it better, you understand how to do it. I, I feel the same way. If I see a trick, I'm like, oh, okay, like full whips. If it wasn't that good at full whips. Now everybody's doing it, now I can do it. Same thing. But I want this. I want my videos and, and my tricks to be like the the study guide for guys that want to learn stuff. So that way you can look at it, see how it's done, and then be able to do it too. I want you guys to try. I want you. I, want, I would love somebody to do this too. Like that way, it kind of pushes me also to stay on top, stay one step ahead or ten step ahead, however many steps ahead I possibly could be in the flatland. That's what I want to be. I want to be the guy to pave the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys try some flat tricks. If you try flat tricks at home, just film them, throw them up on Instagram, tag me in the clips, or send me a DM of the clips, and I'll make sure I'll throw a comment, a like. I'm, I'll watch all of them. Like anytime I see you guys comment some flatland stuff, I get super hyped. I get so hyped because I feel like I'm doing my job right. I feel like that. I don't know. Like if you guys watch my stuff and you go try, like that makes me all. I mean, that gets me hyped. That's what I want to do. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna do more stuff like this. I'm constantly trying to invent tricks. I used to do a lot on Instagram. I still do all my not top top stuff, but like my new stuff, single tricks without comboing yet are on Instagram. But the I guess like the journey behind new tricks I'm gonna put on here for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, share the video. I'll see you tomorrow, another day. We're out.